ours. But first, it's Joy's turn to add our watch list. Add to it with an incredible documentary. All right, I am sure all of you are aware of the uh, pretty amazing CBS programming that we bring you right here on Color 10, like every single night during prime time and beyond. Okay, but there's a lot more where that came from with something new from the network, news and documentary content from See It Now Studios. Okay, now for starters, an original documentary debuted last week on Paramount Plus to mark the September 11th anniversary. The documentary is called 26th Street Garage. Actor Tom Selleck narrates, and it's about a very unassuming space that became an essential command center during the September 11th attacks and beyond. Take a look. The 26th Street Garage is the FBI's greatest untold story of 9-11. Debris is falling from the sky. All of the buildings in the immediate area were being evacuated. So I was given the assignment to find a suitable forward command post. We're not going to go any place which is identifiable as being law enforcement or the FBI. I want it secured and I want it fairly close to ground zero. The agents reluctantly said, well, we could go to the 26th Street garage. At first, I was actually thinking, how the hell is this going to work? As agents arrive in droves, FBI logistics teams tow out 500 cars to make room. It was a grease monkey location, but, you know, ugly's okay. No one's looking for, you know, the Waldorf Astoria in the middle of a crisis. They set up the computers. They ran the lines. Banks of telephones, miles of wire. Incredibly, within just a few hours, the garage begins to function as an FBI command post. The purpose of the garage is not only just to act as a communications channel, but to digest all the information coming in. Martha Stewart's studio and test kitchens are on the ninth floor. So one day, Martha Stewart is coming up the ramp, and she said, I just want you guys to have something. We would take down food and see the smiles and the weariness of the workers there on that floor. Clues are coming in. And they're all going into a funnel, and the funnel's narrow end is coming into the 26th Street garage. On 9-11, one of the passports of one of the hijackers was found a block or so from one of the towers, and that was brought into the command center. So, so you were fairly early on were identifying who the hijackers were. Two people who were on the planes. We're looking for them in Yemen. Our government knew that they were in San Diego. Names are going up, whiteboards are being drawn, lines are being connected. Who else is a sleeper cell somewhere waiting for the instructions to attack? What was accomplished out of that garage was nothing short of amazing. All right, again, you can catch 26th Street Garage right now on Paramount Plus. It lasts right at one hour. I pulled it up on my phone just a little while ago to see. Yeah. Uh, so it's about 58 minutes or so long. Um, and so look down the road for more things like that, okay? Uh, long form documentaries, some docu series, and something they're calling Insta Docs. So that's a little bit more like something like a shorter documentary, I guess, when there's breaking news happening. Okay. And things that they can cover in, you know, a shorter time frame. Yeah. But anyway, it's all coming from CBS. And Susan Zarinsky, a longtime producer there, who, um, yeah, who's apparently heading up the studio. So much more to come right here from the CBS family, which is great. Amazing. Yeah. CBS News knows how to do these things. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Rock the Spectrum is coming to the...